Elijah, here's the world beater, Hamzat Shimaev, wicked relevant in two divisions. Every time he sees you, he tries to take you down. <laughs> Gotta think he's gonna try to wrestle here tonight. That's exactly what he does, right? He wants to impose himself on his opponents. He wants to show his dominance when he's inside the octagon, whether it's on the ground in the grappling, as we saw in Kevin Holland, or whether it's him striking, as we have seen in the beginning of his UFC career. He has all the skills, but it's the mindset of Hamza Chimaev that thinks separates him from most fighters in both weight classes that he competes in. And with respect to Conor McGregor and everybody else, I'm not sure that any athlete has ever taken this sport by storm quite the way Chimaev did back in 2020. Let's see how he fares in another big spot tonight. Representing Sydney, Australia, he was born in New Zealand. Robert the Reaper Whitaker. He has put together one of the greatest winning streaks in the history of this middleweight division, and did to Yoel Romero what few men have been able to do. Few men can stand across from Romero and just even live to tell the story right. of fighting him in the octagon. Robert Whitaker has done that twice and got his hand raised in the rematch. Whitaker is a truly, truly phenomenal mixed martial artist has a traditional background, but he also has a wrestling knowledge that is very underrated. He does not just get taken down to he'll get back to his feet very well, and he has cardio for days. He's truly one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. And he's a grappler at his core. We talk oh, yeah. so much about his boxing, but the guys at Gracie Jiu-Jitsu and Smith Range will tell you, this guy started as a grappler, still grapples in the key during training camp. Robert Whitaker, back in, ideally in a big way for him here tonight. Tell the date for this middleweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Hamzat Bors Jabayev. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, the Reaper Whitaker! Herb Dean, our third Great man fight. in the octagon for this Great. one. Good. All right, well, he has officially taken the sport by storm. The bona fide welterweight contender, Hamza Chimaev, undefeated and appears to be on a trajectory to future championship greatness. How will he approach this stylistic challenge here tonight? A lot of people feel like he'll take the fight to the canvas, but as you know, he's got a lot of confidence in his hands. We'll see if he can find the power stroke early in this round. Circling towards the left now. Fight behind a nice jab. Well, DC, they say styles make fights. We haven't had much of a fight here through the first minute. Hasn't been to this point. I mean, I don't have much to say, and I always have something to say. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Oh, huge connection on the right hand by Robert Whitaker. That is his strike of choice, right? Robert Whitaker is a guy that wants to wear you down, get in your face, make you work and hustle. Because he knows that when you're exhausted, he's feeling much better than you. We have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. Oh, back to the overhand right. Swing and a miss. Oh, 
Mercy. Close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now he has to try to find that shot again. Some damage being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his opponent. He's not moving his head effectively. He's trying to be face first. Look, you don't have to prove how tough you are. You got to move your head. Be active. Don't be reactive in your defenses. Knee to the body, that can't feel good. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Oh, a huge block there. Here's out for the end of round one. All right, there's the horn, and what a round, champ. We gotta talk about the knockdown. When you knock somebody down like that, Got, got to be kind of fun to strut your way back to the stairs. I mean, you are 10 foot tall. When you can <laughs> drop another person with a strike, you are 10 foot tall. Now, the issue is he did not find the finish, and he used a lot of energy trying to finish that fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance. Took it, he landed that kick, and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Ready, fight. Ready. Second oh. round underway. Oh. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. She might have tried to close the show. Side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Comes on, she might have gets back up. Oh, oh big knee! Oh, 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 heavy shots raining down. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. So, what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned. Because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. We go back inside the octagon to the veteran voice once more. He is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, four seconds of round number two. Declared the winner by TKO and New.